What's up guys? Welcome to the start of what is going to be called Road to 11. If you guys didn't see the video that I did a couple of weeks ago to kick off 2024, I posted a video called New Year, New Channel, where I talked about a bunch of different changes that were going to be happening with the channel. And one of the things that I was going to be adding was Road to 11. Now what Road to 11 is, is a video diary or a vlog of the different things that I'm doing to get myself back into competitive shape. Now, the reason why I added this into the program or added this to the channel is because a lot of people have been commenting saying that they wanted to see me compete more or wanted to at least see me feature more matches on the channel. And this is a good way, in my opinion, to kind of accommodate both things. And to be honest, another thing that it's doing is it's helping me getting a little more confidence in some of the collaboration projects that I'd like to pursue later on. When I shot my video with Mark Sanson and when I shot my video with Dylan, as exciting as it was to get to work with those people, I also felt like I was under practice for what the videos were that we were shooting. So I want to feel like I'm prepared for any of those type of situations should the opportunities come up again. Also, I just think that when I'm competing or when I'm in match shape, the video quality is better, the content is better, and I've feel like I can talk more candidly about the different things that go into improving your game because I'll actively be doing it myself. So what you're going to be able to expect on this, and then I'm going to get into the first segment, is you're going to be seeing the practice schedule, meaning like what drills and things I'm doing on the court. You're also going to be seeing the match play. You're going to be seeing the workouts as well as you're going to be seeing the things that I'm doing actively for recovery because all those things go into improving. Way too many people think that it's just about hitting a bunch of balls on the court and you're going to immediately start seeing that improvement. So I'm going to be showing you guys a formula and a layout of how to structure your training so that you can push forward and get to whatever it is that your goals are. And I'll be breaking them into those four categories. So at the beginning of the year when I shot that video, I checked my UTR and it was embarrassingly low. But the thing was, you got to know where you're starting in order to get to whatever you're going to. So here's where the UTR is right now. And I know you guys can laugh at me, but the point is, it's a combination of not playing a lot. And then also when I do decide to play, I'm under practice and my results were not the way they should have been. If you guys saw the match that I played against Mark, Mark was a nine point something when I played him and I beat Mark Sanson, and then Dylan was a 10 point something and I lost. So I should be somewhere in between there, even if you were just to assume that. But in my super competitive days, I would be much higher than that. So without talking too much more about what you can expect, what I'm going to be doing from now on is featuring just the layouts of the practice, doing some voiceover things. You'll get to see a bunch of other junior players as well as college and former pro players on the channel that will kind of assist in my development getting back into at least a 10 or 11 UTR, hence the name Road to 11. The goal is to get beyond an 11, but that's the benchmark that I'm setting for one year. So for today's video, I'm just going to show you guys a practice set that I played against a local college kid. His name is Gerardo. He's getting ready for his season to start because I think the men's season kicks off in the spring. So we had done a couple of little training sessions that, together just to get our rhythm going, hitting cross courts and down the lines just to get the pace and everything. And then we played a set. So for today's Road to 11, I'm just going to show you guys how that match went. And then I'll come back here for the quick wrap up. <laughs> Oh, 
Good time.
Okay, so like you guys saw, I got the win, but definitely not pretty in my opinion. I could see different things that I need to work on with my game. Obviously, there was a lack of focus at certain points when I was playing really well, and then all of a sudden the errors would creep in. One thing that was really apparent to me in that match, and this is one of the first ones that I've played, I have since played and worked on some other things, but that video right there, my returns are definitely a place of focus that I need to really dial in. I feel like my timing is off. I feel like I'm not reading the tosses, reading the body language. So in the next couple of weeks, I'm really going to be doing some things to try to work those details out. My racket speed and everything feels good. My timing feels good. I do feel as though my aggression or at least my ability to be aggressive is still a little hesitant. Like whenever I go big, I, I seem to start going more towards the center. And when I start trying to move the ball around to the sides, I feel like I'm pulling off the shots and playing a little safe. So that's something I want to work on in the next coming videos. But to wrap up today's video, I hope you guys enjoyed the first part of what's going to be Road to 11, but there's going to be a whole bunch of other things to show you guys. So until the next video, I'll see you guys in the next one.